Hello everyone, welcome to a small terrible channel. Today we're going to talk about Q2 or quarter 2, week 4. Differentiate plant and animal cells according to presence or absence of certain organelles. So we are done with this, alright? So quarter 1. The module 1 of quarter 2, module 3, module uh, 2, 3. Then today we're going to have module 4 of quarter 2. Alright, so before that, let us first open our Kotobi Reader. So, why Kotobi Reader? Because our file is a K pop file. So, it is an interactive uh, self learning module. So click open EPUB file. Then let's select the file that we have. Hindi mag prompt again yung please wait. Ulitin lang natin. open na siya. So, punta lang tayo dito sa module 4. Quarter 2, module 4. So, ito ang content natin. So, in this module, you will learn to differentiate plant and animal cells according to presence or absence of certain organelles and explain why the cell is considered the basic structural and functional unit of all organisms. So, the objectives of this module First is to identify the difference and similarities of an animal cell, of plant and animal cells. Then second is to draw a Venn diagram showing the similarities and differences of plant and animal cells. And number three is show willingness to describe the functions of each organelle. So I have already written something here, so this should not be the file that I am going to open. So let's reopen the other file. Alright, so we have this unlocking of difficulties. Plant cell, animal cell, cell membrane, cell wall, and so on. Then for the next page, we have this pre-assessment test for the students to check their prior knowledge again. So after they answered, just click submit and they will have their scores right away. Then for the next page, we have this word search. So we have here the words. So these are basically the parts of the cells and they are going to locate these words here. Right, so it will just highlight every time the word would uh, be uh, would be seen here by the students. For example, this cell membrane. So all they have to do is there need to drag or highlight the words, then it will also be highlighted here. All right. So let's just clear this. Then let's proceed to the next page. So there are two tasks. For the explore part so for the first task you are going to click on the highlighted words so let's just click highlighted or the uh, it's a different color from the rest of the other words other than here so just click and it will prompt you to another page or another web page and in this web page um, we can encounter 3D objects, 3D uh, cells basically because our topic is all about cells. So first is all about plant cells. So in here, we can 
happen on the cell so this is the plant cell so actually uh, the student can explore it it's very very um, if I am the student I would find this very amazing right so every time you click for example cell wall right? it will highlight to the part where it is called the cell wall you can also drag here right so right so if you are going to click on cell membrane so the cell membrane would be this one yeah, it will highlight to the part of the cell then the endoplasmic reticulum the Golgi body then the vacuole so in a plant cell um, very large ang vacuole kasi ito ang responsible na crisp ang, ang for example ang mga vegetables natin then we have the nucleus, the nucleolus, the one inside the nucleus, the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cells. It looks like a battery because it's the powerhouse of the cell. Then we have the chloroplast. This is where the food making process of the plants. So this is where photosynthesis occur. Then we have the ribosomes, then the cytoskeleton, right? So, if the student would like to have the color, so they can just click in here or anywhere, then they'll have it and they can fun on it, right? They can uh, view it like this, like that. They can uh, try to um, drag it. Just uh, hold this and try to move your mouse. So it's very very nice right okay then just close it and let's proceed to the next at the animal cell so that was about the plant cell this time it's about the animal cell so again the students will find this very amazing they can explore the parts of the cells in 3D model. Right, so we have it here. Right, so again, you can also pan on it. Okay, so you, you can you can view it depending on what you like. Right, so for example, nucleus. This is the nucleus part. Then the plasmic reticulum. Right, the Golgi apparatus. The lysosome, the microtubules, the mitochondrion, right, and the ribosome. So, kung gusto naman na makita lahat na color, so click lang again anywhere outside the cell, then you can pan on it. Pan, right? Turn it around, just, just. Hold your mouse and drag it. Right, it's a very nice model. So it's a courtesy of life like or lifelike.com. So if you want to look the 3D model of your uh, for example this cell, just go to lifelike or lifelike.com. Alright, so anyway let's proceed. So we have, oh, task one pa naman. So we also have the dashboard carousel. Just click on it. Oh, it's very enlarged, no? So I have to adjust this so that uh, we can also see the other label. So anyway, you can see it in here. So for the plant cell, uh, animal cells, these are the parts for the Plant cells, these are the parts. Alright. So, proceed to the text. So, we have the read, read, read task here. Okay, so the, the parts and functions of each organelles. Then, the, the label of each part. Then we have the crossword puzzle for our apply what you have learned. So again, you can drag the, this. 
right? So, for example, play role in cell division. So, what do, what do you think is the answer? So, you just type here. Right? Proceed to the next page. So, draw it. Draw a Venn diagram showing the similarities and differences of plant and animal cells. So, you can draw this in any piece of paper. And to check the answer, just click the highlighted. Right? So, this is the correct answer uh, for the Venn diagram that, that, that we are asking. Then, let's proceed to the next. Okay, so this is the post-test. So, this is to check if the students really do understand something out of this topic, out of this self-learning module. So, all they have to do is they are going to select, again, just like in the pre-test, then submit answers after which right then let's proceed to the next page we have here the glossary so if you find that some of the parts or some of the organelles very confusing they can just check it in the glossary part when it comes to their function then so for the answer key uh, we have the note that all activities have answers already so in my next uh, module, which is module 5, I have, I have excluded already the answer key part because uh, every time we uh, finished answering the activities, we have already the answer or answers. So the answer key portion is not meant um, of use anymore. Then we have the references. So this is where we got the the idea that we have here right so if you want a copy of this module um, quarter two right so after I have after I will upload the module 7 because quarter two is up to module 7 I'll just put the link of the the link of the quarter two and quarter one in the description box, right? Pero kung gusto niyo talagang i-personalize, mag-comment lang kayo sa comment section ng uh, inyong email address para ma, ma send ko sa inyo ang soft copy. Alright, so thank you so much for being with Small Terrible as of the moment. So, tomorrow, I am going to present to you another tutorial. So, basically, maybe about comics. So, it would be part 2. Because, uh, natapos ko na yung part 1 sa comics. Okay, so, thank you so much. Bye-bye!